over social media right now, but this this isn't a new game. We've heard about this before. Yeah, it's definitely sinister. It's awful. It's scary, but it's not new. Local police are warning you about a disturbing challenge spreading across social media. In fact, a team of ghost hunters say they have actually photographic proof and even audio of those ghosts actually talking. Explains how even the non-believers are getting a little spooked. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers buying these mystery boxes online and some of them turn out to be fake, but others have really good stuff. It may be knockoffs, but it looks real. <laughs> like all kinds of name brands, electronics, laptops, all kinds of stuff. I see a lot of people buying these boxes on eBay, but my cousin told me where I need to go to take it to the next level. This is where you get the good stuff, the dark web. That's right guys, the dark web is actually a real thing. It's basically the black market online. You can find everything from guns, drugs, hitmen, fake currency, fake passports, body organs, you name it, it's all on there. It's a sick world out there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and you can't use American currency on there either. You can only use crypto cash, so I had to set up one of those accounts too. I've been looking at a few boxes on here already and this one really caught my eye. It says, hello, thank you for interest in my mystery box. It's a little broken English, but you get the point. All right. It says, I'm first time seller. I want to give someone something very important in my mystery box, something one of a kind. No one else in this world has. It changed my life and will change yours too. Should be two O's on that too. But anyway, it changed my life and will change yours too. Once you receive, you will understand. Well, there you have it. That sounds pretty interesting. So anyway, here we go. You're about to witness me officially order this thing. I probably can't show you this part. It contains my billing info and stuff. Okay, it's done. So I guess that's it for now. I'll let you know when it comes in. Bye. Okay guys, it's been like two weeks, but the box is finally here. And it's not big and it's not heavy, so I guess no laptops for me. It's probably a complete rip off. But there's this letter taped to the side that says read before opening. Okay, it says, first thing you must know, passed on to you inside of this vessel is a dybbuk stuck between the realms of the living and the dead. If you choose to open, it becomes your responsibility to adhere. If you should falter, the outcome is unknown. Okay, well, that doesn't seem like it was written by the same person who wrote the listing, that's for sure. What the heck is a Dybbuk? Stuck between the realms of the living and the dead. If you choose to open it, it becomes your responsibility. Okay guys, so I looked it up and this is what I found. Dybbuk, in Jewish folklore, a disembodied human spirit that, because of former sins, wanders relentlessly until it finds a haven in the body of a living person. In Jewish mythology, a dybbuk is a malicious, possessing spirit believed to be the dislocated soul of a dead person. Belief in such spirits was especially prevalent in 16th to 17th century Eastern Europe. So, yeah, this must be some kind of joke. I'm going to send the seller a message, though, and see what's up, because this is kind of weird. Okay, so I sent the seller a message, and I'll show you that in a second. But first, I have to show you this. Watch. Did you see that? When I put the box next to the lamp, it starts to flicker. 
What is that all about, right? Crazy. So here's what the seller said to me. Well, first, here's what I wrote. I said, I received the mystery box today, but it must have been a mistake. Not sure if this is some kind of joke, but maybe I received the wrong package or something. Please respond. Thanks, Amber. Okay, then their response was, we accept no return. Listing says no return. The box yours now and belongs to you now. Sorry. So then I sent another message and said, I understand you won't accept returns, but please tell me if this is just a joke or is the box actually supposed to be real? And I haven't got a response back from that yet. So yeah, I guess I'll just wait for a response and let you know what they say. Okay, so I never got a response back from the seller, but before I open this thing, I did some research and I found a bunch of other YouTubers that are opening these mystery boxes online and some of their videos had like millions of hits too. But I watched this video of a guy who had one of these EMF meters and basically it can detect any sort of ghost activity. Um, and then one of these spirit boxes and the spirit box you can basically communicate with a ghost through. And so I just bought these online and we're gonna try them out right now for the first time. Okay, so this is the EMF meter and it should basically start beeping if it detects any sort of ghost activity. So it is on now. Let's do some tests. The lamp, it's not detecting anything. I am not a ghost, not detecting anything. Up there. Okay, it is not detecting anything, but I haven't directly pointed at the box yet. So let's see. Okay, so that's pretty crazy right there. So clearly when I put it towards the box, it starts beeping and then when I pull it away, it stops. So that is pretty crazy right there. Um, that That's the first test anyway. So then this is the spirit box and basically what we're looking for is quick responses and, um, and just short answers from the questions that I ask it. So let's turn it on. Is there a ghost in this box? Is there a demon in this box? Now that sounded like something. It sounded like yes, but I'll have to play all this back and slow it down to really hear it better. Did you hear that? That sounded like something for sure. Did you hear that? Do you want me to let you out of this box? No, that definitely sounded like help to me. Do you want me to let you out of this box? Okay, so I played with that thing for a while now and I definitely got a few responses from it. We'll see what it sounds like later when I listen to it in headphones and turn the volume up, but I feel a little creeped out right now, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm also super curious to know what's inside the box. Like, what if it's like a million dollars or like some ancient treasure or something, you know? Well, if I'm gonna do it, let's just get it over with, right?
I just, I feel really nervous right now. Like maybe I shouldn't open it, but we've already come this far, right? Let's, uh, let's do it. Turn that back on. It smells so bad, like really bad. Like, oh, it smells like rotting flesh or something. And it's super hot. Like how, I wish you could feel this or smell it. It's, why did that stop beeping? Okay, that's weird. Not sure like, why that stopped working, but let's see what we got. Okay, so we got a dried flower, a locket of hair wrapped in string, and an old piece of paper with some kind of writing on it. I, I don't know, it looks like another language of some sort. I'll have to look it up later. Did you see that? Like, the light just started flickering out of nowhere. That was, that was really weird. Um, but that's everything we got inside the box, so. So we got a dried flower, some hair, and a piece of paper with some strange writing on it. I'll show you a close-up of this stuff. Ugh, I just can't get over how bad this stuff stinks. But, okay, I'm gonna go back and run back the audio from the spirit box and see if I can hear anything. And then I'm gonna look up this piece of paper and see if I can figure out what it says. Okay guys, so while I was here in my office looking at the text, I heard a noise in the living room and look at what I found. Everything is back inside the box again. Like, I am 100% sure that I left everything right here sitting on the couch after I took it out of the box. That's pretty creepy. Oh, oh and um, the text, let me show you what that says. Okay, so I Google image searched the paper that came in the box and this is what came up. It apparently is Hebrew text and it translates to released. I mean, that's the same text that you see there, right? That's crazy.
No way. No way. Okay, all the stuff is out of the box again. You guys saw it yourself that time. I, I, I don't even know. This is really creepy. This is really crazy right now, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try the spirit box one more time and see if I can, can communicate with anything. Now, I've got this camera here and I also mounted another camera up back here, so I've got a pretty good shot of the entire room. I'll probably just leave that one mounted up there all night. Um, all right, let's take it away. Is anyone else here with me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I just want to talk. Can you talk to me? Sounded like, what do you want? What's your name? Can you tell me what your name is? I don't mean to disturb you. Is it okay if we talk? It sounded like it asked me who I am. <clears throat> my name is Amber and I just want to talk is that okay what's your name well if you don't want to talk can you just Give me some sort of sign. Well, if you don't want to talk, can you just give me some sort of sign? Can you just give me some sort of sign? So I woke up this morning and it's 50 degrees in here. It's 80 degrees outside. And I always keep my thermostat at 75 degrees, 75 degrees. And yet it's 50 degrees in here. Okay. So last night was pretty interesting. I'm not even going to lie. It was pretty difficult to sleep. I'd say like five times throughout the night, I'd feel this 
sensation, like, like fingers almost caressing my cheek, like rubbing down, like ice cold fingers. And then I'd say like a few more times throughout the night, I'd feel almost as if someone was grabbing my hand, like, like they were trying to pull me or something. And then when I would wake up, it would let me go. So today I am going to go to the store and I'm going to pick up a few more cameras and mount them around the house so that I have the whole place under surveillance. So I just got home and it's 101 degrees in here. 101 degrees. It was 50 degrees this morning and now it's 101 degrees in a matter of a few hours. What is going on? Okay, so today I got all the new cameras mounted in all the rooms, so I feel like I've got a pretty good coverage on everything. If something happens, we're going to see it. And um, after reviewing all the footage from last night, we definitely have some activity going on here. I did call the AC repairman to come and check out whatever's going on with the AC, so... He'll be here tomorrow and we'll see what's going on with that. But I mean, maybe just the thermostat is broken or something, but I guess, I guess I can officially say that I believe this thing is real. There's definitely something here now after I open that box. Like, I almost feel like there's something in the air everywhere around me here. Like it's in every room I walk into, even now. It's almost like it's just here with me, watching me. It's a pretty weird feeling. <laughs> Like I said, there's definitely something here with me. Hey, how have you been? Good, good. Um, well, listen, I was calling you because um, I was wondering if you could help me out with something. So, you told me the story once and I think it kind of relates to something and I, I just want to show you. Do you think you can come over tomorrow so I can? I just want to show you what I'm talking about. I think it'll make a lot more sense if I show you. I know. I know it is kind of weird, um, but I think you'll want to see this. 
So as you know, I just called someone. Um, I just wanted someone else to see this for themselves. And so I don't feel totally crazy, you know? Also, he had this paranormal experience once and I think maybe he'd be more open to the idea of all this instead of just telling me I'm crazy, you know? So I woke up with a really bad headache this morning. It was so hard to sleep last night. It's like all night long, I could literally feel someone poking me. And like every time I would start to fall asleep, I would feel it poke me again as if it was trying to keep me awake. And now there's no hot water in the shower either. I went to go take a shower this morning and nothing. Ice cold. <laughs> and there's no hot water coming out of the kitchen sink either, so... I don't know if it's a coincidence or if that's our little friend here too. Hey guys, so I got my cousin Chris here with us today. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Okay, so Chris still has no idea why I asked him to come over today and I'm about to tell him everything. So, Chris, the reason I asked you to come over today is because I have a ghost in my house. You're joking. Not at all. Totally serious. This is real. And I honestly felt like you'd be a good person to talk to about it because of your experience with the spirit in the past. Okay. Okay, so what I'm about to tell you might seem really crazy. Would you just show me already? Okay. So, remember when you told me I should go on the dark web to get that mystery box? Yeah. Right. Okay, so here it is. You actually got one? What's in it? See, that's just the thing. Ever since I opened it, some really strange stuff has been happening around here. Like what? Like, things are moving by themselves. Electronics are malfunctioning. Lights flicker on and off all the time. And the AC goes from hot to cold. I mean, you name it. I've got some footage I can show you, but first I want you to do something with me. What's that? I want you to talk to it with me. <laughs> See, this is a spirit box and it basically acts as a gateway to communicate with the dead. It's really simple. You just turn it on like this. And then it scans like this. And then we just wait for responses from the questions we ask. So have you already spoken to something? Yeah. Do you want to ask it something first? No, you, you go ahead. Okay. You're not scared, are you? No. Okay, just making sure. Okay. Chris and I were hoping you would talk to us. Do you feel like talking? Is there anything you want to talk about? Did you hear that? Uh, 
Is there anything you want to talk about? Did you hear that? Are you the one who kept me awake last night? I said something, but I didn't actually understand it. Are you the one who kept me awake last night? I said something, but I didn't actually understand it. What's your name? Why won't you tell us your name? You ask it. Ask its name. What is your name? Where did you come from? Do you want to talk to me? You hear that? God. Why won't you talk to us? Just tell us your name and we'll leave you alone. When I was little, I used to see a shadow man in my room every night. If you're real, what age was I when that happened? Did it say 10? Is that right? Yeah. I used to see it every night when I was 10 years old. Can you tell me who the shadow man was? Tell me. Did it say Mala? Mala. Turn that off. Why? Turn this off? I don't want to do this anymore. I, I don't understand. Who's Malik? That is not a pure entity that you're talking to. That is a demon, Amber. I am sure of it. Okay? I don't want to go through this again. So turn that camera off. Please. I want to show you guys something. So I was just sitting here watching TV and I started to feel this really weird presence around me. I felt this cold breeze and then I smelled that same foul odor. And so I decided to turn on the EMF meter and it immediately lit up and started beeping. So let's try this again. It's on. Now watch this. I'm gonna walk to the dining room table. Okay, now wait. Watch. Okay, now I'm gonna walk back to my bedroom. Watch this. Now wait. See that? It's following me.
I wish I never did this. I really wish I never did this.
I'm not Amber.